Australia, China, and France have already released satellite images showing objects that may be related to MH370. Yesterday, on the 25th of March, the Malaysian Remote Sensing Agency, MRSA, received new satellite images from Airbus Defence and Space, which is based in France, and these images were taken on the 23rd of March. MRSA analysed the images, and in one area of the ocean measuring some 400 square kilometres, were able to identify 122 potential objects. Some objects were a metre in length, others were as much as 23 metres in length. Some of the objects appeared to be bright, possibly indicating solid material. The objects were located approximately 2,557 kilometres from Perth. We will issue a handout showing their location after this press conference. MRSA's findings were immediately forwarded to the Australian Rescue Coordination Centre in Perth yesterday. It must be emphasised that we cannot tell whether the potential objects are from MH370. Nevertheless, this is another new lead that will help direct the search operation. We have now had four separate satellite leads from Australia, from China, and France showing possible debris. It is now imperative that we link the debris to MH370. This will enable us to further reduce the search area and locate more debris from the plane. Australia is leading the search effort in the Southern Indian Ocean based out of Perth. Malaysia continues to play a coordinating role all countries involved are displaying unprecedented levels of cooperation that has not changed. This is the South China Morning Post. With this new development from uh, Airbus with these images, how will that reflect into the uh, search in the Southern Indian Ocean? I can show you the uh, visuals which I'll be distributing to you. Um, and, and these are the visual images. As you can see, it was an incredible feat because it was covered all by um, cloud. There were pockets in the clouds that we identified, and the white dots were the debris. This debris were then calculated, and the, the size of the debris and the latitude and the longitude of it has also been identified. Uh, it, it is not very far from, from the object cited by the Chinese government, which is over here, and the Australian government, which is over there. So this is still the most credible lead that we have. And I've been consistent in the past that if we can use all the sa satellite technology that's available, the radar that is available, the assets that we can deploy to this area, which now seems to corroborate uh, some form of objects and debris, and if it is confirmed to be MH370, at least then we can move on to the next phase of deep sea surveillance search and rescue, probably. Hoping against hope. On the satellite images that you have and all the other technical data, can you now triangulate the impact site? And as to the, um, the new images from the Malaysia Remote Sensing Agency, um, would you consider that area they have identified to be the debris field already? As I said, uh, that question must be broken up into four uh, aspects. Firstly, if you want to triangulate that uh, arrow and narrow it further, when you're talking about satellite uh, data, uh, not only uh, in MASET, but we have broken in uh, AAIB, that was announced earlier, and then you've got the Chinese CAAC and AAID, NTSB, FAA, Boeing and Rolls-Royce who are now sitting down and trying to do exactly what you've been asking relating to satellite information. Then we've got radar information that needs to, to be analysed. That is military and uh, also civil and that's been, been doing, we've been doing that from day one. Thirdly, which is happening right now, is the deployment of the assets 
in the air and on the sea. And the more vessels that are deployed in those areas, we can narrow it further. And the fourth limb, like I said, is to increase the number of experts that can come on board. So it's been a natural progression from the beginning. We have narrowed the area, we have identified what we need to do, and we also are now looking uh, ahead uh, in the event that we do find debris, what is our next step? In the event that we do find a black box, what do we do? Um, these are all being taken uh, into consider consideration right now. 